Back with another Geiger counter review and I'm actually going to do two for one today. I'm actually going to review two Geiger counters. So uh, I know I haven't done one in a while. I apologize for that. Sort of my mind has been on getting the bunker ready for open days uh, in 2021. Uh, I'm at the bunker at the moment. I'm at the, the main desk in the monitoring room. And uh, I just thought whilst I was here doing a few bits and pieces, I would bring these new Geiger counters with me and I would re review them while I was here. So we'll start with this one because this was the biggest letdown. Um, I got this on eBay and I paid £30 for it. And to be perfectly honest with you, uh, it's, it's, it's not worth it. It really isn't worth it. Um, it's an American device. Um, it's in the same vein as the little Nuke Alerts and the little keychain, keyring style. Um, you know, it's not really a Geiger counter. It's, it's not a dissimilar. It's just a device for telling you if there has been a severe increase in background radiation. Um, I've had this for about a month and a half. To be perfectly honest with you, I wasn't going to review it because I just didn't like it. But the fact that I was doing this one, I thought, yeah, listen, I might as well. So the smallest amount that it will register, so it'll actually do anything. So it takes a 232 uh, coin battery. As you can see there, you can hopefully see the little red light come on. That's just to tell you that it is on and it is working. And really, that's all it does. Uh, the, the smallest amount it'll detect is 75 millironcan. 75 millironcan is 750 microsieverts in gamma. So 750 microsieverts in gamma. I don't have anything that would register that, thank God, because uh, that's a hell of a lot. So really, this is totally useless unless there is a nuclear war. Um, I mean, as a novelty item, maybe, but no. For £30, I totally overpaid. Could not find any information about this online. And it's pretty pointless. Uh, I mean, in the end of the day, if I have this, I'm going to be carrying around a PDR M82 with me. I'm going to be carrying around something like this with me rather than have something like this. So yeah, very, very quick review on that. You can probably see why I wasn't going to review it because it's it's terrible. It's, it's just, do not buy this. Uh, they, were, they were made for preppers just to keep on their key rings in their car and you know show off to their friend maybe that they have a little Geiger counter. Yeah, these this is crap, absolutely crap. So that's out of the way. This little interesting device called the GEM Rad Alert. Now, there is another product on the market called the Rad Alert uh, and the Nuke Alert and things like that there. This is not made by that company. This is made by a company in England, in the UK, called Perspective Scientific. Uh, as you can see, it is quite low range. Um, it will only go up to 5.71, in fact, you can see there it's 5.71, 5.71, 1.71. So the, the, the top scale is 5.71 microsieverts. And then it'll also convert that into a yearly dose in millisieverts, which is quite interesting. Now, what I liked about this, um, I wasn't going to buy it. It was £20 auction. The seller had listed it as a gamma meter, not a giga counter. So... That's what they had listed it as. So there were no other bids and I got it for £20, which I thought was pretty good. Um, and simple one button on, one button off, and one button to change it between 10 second search mode and 10 minute search mode so you can get a more precise reading. What's interesting about it is it detects alpha, which I thought was very, very strange and quite rare in a meter, a small and without a display. So you've got your beta and gamma at the top and then, and x-ray obviously, and then you've got alpha here, which I thought was quite interesting. So to turn it on, you press the button once, the wee logarithmic display goes up and down, and then you've entered 10 second scan mode. So after 10 seconds, it will give you a reading on the display. And there we see the background radiation level at the moment has detected 0.05 microsieverts. I am underground at the moment, so I am 
pretty much shielded from above ground background radiation pretty well here. So I can't see that going much higher than 0 0.05. Oh, we've had, oh, I know what it's detecting. It is detecting this compass. So I will move that away a little bit just to see if that changes. And we'll see after 10 seconds if it drops down. So you can see how sensitive it is with the, uh, with the alpha. It is reasonably sensitive. There you go. And it's actually detecting no background radiation at the moment. So we'll let it go on now. It runs off a 9 volt battery and uh, I think up 0 0.25. So obviously if I had to change that to the 10 minute mode, it would, uh, it would give us very, very, very uh, precise readings on 10 minutes. But the battery uh, goes in here. And just slide that cover off. And there's the battery. And it's quite tight in there, the battery. But it's a nice little unit. And is it really, really, really handy and useful? And could you use it every single day? Nah, probably not. It depends on the situation that you, you're using it for. If you wanted something that you kept in your car and could go into an antique shop, which is usually what I would always class a lot of these units as. In terms of using it in a nuclear war, probably not. Well, yes, in a pinch you could, of course you could. But um, as something that would save your life, no. But if you wanted something, if you're going to an antique market or an antique fair, or something like that there, something to keep in your pocket, very quickly pull out of your pocket. And the fact it does alpha, very, very, very handy and very, very rare in a unit, which is probably exactly the same size as a pack of cigarettes, actually. Not that I've smoked in a very, very long time, but uh, yeah, exactly the same size as a pack of cigarettes. So quite rare in that regard. But what I'll do here is I'll very, very quickly, I'll put that over here and I'll get out the, the compass and I'll just do a quick check on this. So this is a radium dial or a radium doped little display here. We'll see what we're getting. So up to 16, 13. So that's what we know we're getting with that. So if I put that up to here, let's see what happens now. So you see the way they're all the lights are flashing? That's to warn you that it's off scale. There's no sound. That's to warn you that it's off scale. And uh, you just have to hold your finger on it to turn it off. I think it's pressed it. Yeah, there you go. And that turns it off. Yes, interesting little unit. Um, glad I got it for £20. Don't think I would want to pay any more than that. But I think for £20, 20 pounds, I did okay. Um, yeah, I have another Geiger counter coming from the same people that made the Radioscan 701, 501 and 801. I uh, have a new one called a Radia Code. It's a Bluetooth Geiger counter. Um, I've just ordered it. Um, I think it's coming from Cyprus, same as the Radioscan did. Got it for a really good price. Um, didn't buy it directly from the shop. I bought it directly from the company who makes it uh, rather than their website. Their website is actually a distributor. It's not the company. Um, so once that arrives, um, I'll do a little review on that to show you. Um, but yeah, it looks really interesting. Works with Android phones. They're hopefully doing an iOS version as well with iPhone. And it works with a PC, with some PC software. So as soon as that comes, I'll do a review on that. But we'll do a little jump cut quickly and um, I'll show you something I've added to the bunker. Uh, recently. Okay, so this is the, what I wanted to show you, what I talked about last time. So you see, remember I put the wire in. Those of you who watched the last video, um, I put the wiring in into the radio box. So I have it all wired up now. What I'll do is I'll turn off the lights just so it looks a little bit better. And then, whoosh. So there we go. So that mimics one of the original display screens that would have been found in the main headquarters bunker. So all these little sort of mushroom clouds here, they are where bombs have gone off. That's us down here at number 45. Well, that's Loch Ness, as it's called, it's right in the center of Northern Ireland. And uh, that just shows you all the little red dots are where all the posts are. And uh, yeah, that shows where the, uh, the radiation is going. So there's the bomb. You put the time, you put the size, and then you'd put the uh, the fallout plume, and then the time that it reached each area. 
Yeah, that would let you know. So I just thought I'd add that into the bunker. I've had it, a friend of mine, Mike, made it for me a couple of years ago. And uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. But I've had it in my shed. I do bring it to open days, but other than that, it just sort of sits in the shed all the time. So I thought, no, I'll bring it down to the bunker. It'll be good here, down below ground for open days, because it's gonna be you know, reasonably dark down here. And uh, it's pretty cool when you turn it on. It, uh, yeah, it looks really, really well. It looks much better in real life, actually. It might look a little bit washed out in the video, but it looks awesome uh, for me here in person. But uh, yeah, the Geiger counters, uh, don't be getting this. You know, if one comes up for five or something, yeah, maybe. But uh, I'm really sorry if the manufacturer of this ends up watching this video. Um, I don't know if my unit is faulty. Um, I don't know anything else, but yeah, it's... Yeah, if a nuclear war comes, I will not be using this to try to save my life. Apparently, it says in the instructions that you can actually use it directionally, so it can actually tell you where the radiation is by you know moving it. Uh, no, no. I'm going to go, considering that I paid 20, uh, 30 for this, and I paid 100 for this, you know, come on, there's, there's absolutely, you know, there's no contest here. You don't, if you buy cheap, you get cheap. You want to have something that at least has a little bit of quality to it. You know, I'd rather have this. I trust this every day of the week, and I paid 20 for that. So, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely avoid this. And if you get one of those, it's the first time I've ever seen one of these, but if you can get one of those, definitely get one of them. They're pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, Bunker is currently running off uh, the uh, generator. So I have uh, it plugged in to the 240 volt, and then I have a little adapter in there that is turning the 240 volt into 12 volt. But yes, everything good at the bunker. And uh, next time I will be doing hopefully the review on the Rally Code 101, which looks very, very interesting. And I like the, uh, the PC software and I like the look of the phone software. I've already downloaded it and looked at it and it's quite nice. So uh, yes, hope to have a little bit of fun with that. But listen folks, as always, thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye.